Yes, let's move on with our uh, blade design. So for this purpose, I'm going to create a new blade gen, which uh, this tool is used to further improve our uh, blade design. Blade gen is particularly developed for turbo machinery design engineers to make their life easy by giving them full control over uh, easily changing critical angles, you know, airfoil shapes, uh, thicknesses, and, you know, any other uh, design related parameters uh, for the design of blades. As a quick example, on, on the top left picture, what I can do is maybe, you know, change the trailing edge profile a little to my liking, but, you know, most likely this is not a good design idea. So, you know, I don't like it and I'm just gonna go back by using the undo function. Here what we see is an actual uh, blade to blade view and we can see the design changes made live uh, on, on these two airfoils. Uh, for example, if I go to the bottom left window where I have the theta and the uh, beta, I'm gonna take the theta angle and I'm gonna change it, you know, noticeably, and we're gonna see the blades, you know, adjust to that angle. So again, I'm just gonna go back undo so that, you know, you can see the uh, blades going back to their original shape. On the bottom side, we have the uh, control over the normal layer thickness. Uh, for example, you know, the user can change the blade thickness kind of very drastically here and you can see the impact on the on the surface of the blade and or you know obviously not being a design engineer kind of overdid the change so let's again you know undo and go back to our original view and uh, on the top left corner uh, on the top left corner uh, we can change the contents of the window uh, we can look at this blade to blade view. We can, you know, concentrate on the theta beta angle or, you know, the angles at different spans by using the buttons on the left side. So these, you know, give the designer a, a good understanding of what's happening at, at different spans uh, for our blade. And you can look at the thickness, you know, you can look at the thickness at different spans from leading edge to trailing edge. So this was a simple demonstration on our tool and I do not want to uh, give further the details uh, uh, for, for this uh, model and this section and I'm uh, gonna say that you know we, we've successfully done our uh, blade gen and we can move on to the next step.